Hello, I'm Tiam Singh, your trainer. Let's do drives or connection. To start connection creation, let's select the connection vault. This will open the connection palette. Let's select the base plate and select the column to place the base plate. Let's give this joint a name for identification purpose. You notice there's a joint design tab. You can do joint check for conformance to American or European standards. Next, we are going to copy the joint to other columns. We use create joint to a joint group to do this. We select the joint and then the columns that the joint is to be copied to. This will create a group of joints that will follow the configurations if you change the master joint. Of course, any joint in the group can be assigned as master. We show you a quicker way to do the copying using the multiple option. You can see two objects being copied instead of one in the icons. Let's select the joint and then we go on to select all the columns that we want the joints to be copied to. We have some columns in our structure that are of different profiles. For this case, the joint configuration between the two types of joints may be different. We use the remove joint from joint group to remove these joints from the previous group. The joints are now independent of each other and we can modify the joint parameters for one of these joints. Let's link this new set of joints together using add joint to joint group. You select the joint and then the joint group. You continue to do the same for the other two joints. Let's take a look at the joint properties of the follower joint or the slave joint. You can see that the name has synchronized to the master joints. And if you have parameters that are changed, it will be synchronized as well. Let's update the base plate we have with details. We will change the configuration of these two base plates. We need to ungroup them from the joint group before making the changes. After ungrouping the two joints, we can select them and use the advanced joint property to change the parameters for the joint. You can see that as I change the parameters of this joint, it doesn't affect the other joints. Even though the two joints dimension are the same, because of the size of protrusion of the plates, the two joints are actually different and cannot be grouped together.
Next, we finalize the base plate details for the I-beams. I select any of the joints and select Advanced Joint Properties to edit. This joint must be a master joint before it is editable. I made the joint master and the parameters can now be edited just like any other joints. You can see as I edit these joints, the other joints in the group will be updated instantaneously. Next, we finalize the base plate parameters for the rectangular hollow sections. Let's do some columns to beam connections. We select the platform beam group in the palette. And from here, we can select the single sided end plate. For this connection, we need to select the columns, then followed by the beam. We continue the modeling of this joint by setting the design parameters. The parameters even allow us to change the number of bolts in the connection. We use create by template to copy the joints. We select the joints to be copied. Then we follow up with selecting the column and also the beam. Unlike the joint group that we used previously, this makes all the joints copy independent of each other. Let's use the multiple version of the create by template. You select the joint that you want to copy, then you select the column or columns, and lastly, you select the beam or the beams. In this way, lots of similar joints are created very quickly. Let's finish up the rest of the connections using the same method. 
this time you can see that I can select multiple columns and also multiple beams. That's the end of the lesson. See you again next time. Bye.